So all the news about the COVID-19 pandemic is horrible. It affects us all, whether we have it or not. Because of lockdown restrictions or social distancing, all of our lives have been impacted. We can't get to see all our friends and loved ones. We can't go where we want or do all the things that make us happy. But looking at the situation from a different perspective, things might not be all bad. It's good to focus on all the good things that have come out of this crisis. All the quality time getting to spend with our families, all the community spirit, and all the acts of kindness that are popping up around the place. Because you know, we are all in this together. We here at Act Out Youth Theatre decide to spread a little joy and tell stories of all the positives we've seen come out of this crisis. We decided to tell them in the most creative ways we could think of. So enjoy all. Here's our hashtag, we're all in this together stories. So I'm sure everybody already realised that the coronavirus is making everybody extremely lazy and there really isn't much to do. Then my mum, a complete genius, came up with an idea. Dancing outside. I mean, who would have thought? We gathered up a group and started doing these little different dances. Everybody got their part and it was the most fun. Since the beginning of quarantine, I think it's fair to say that everyone around the world has been a little bit bummed out. Myself and my friends included. So one day I decided that I wanted to do something nice for them to cheer them up. So after a little brainstorming session, I decided that I would bake for them. So a prime example of the Irish being social creatures that I have seen is an, uh, a neighbourhood bingo that was going on in my estate. Everyone sat in their garden while the host of the game sat in the middle of the green and called the numbers. What is strange being so far apart from everyone else acting like a normal game of bingo. Now the prizes were nothing special, but it wasn't about that. It was strange but wonderful how in a time of little to no community feeling we seemed to make something out of nothing. Dear Mr. and Mrs. I hope you're doing well. Hi Granny, I miss you so much. If you can tell, I won't let this end in farewell. It's quarantine time, I'm sitting all alone. I'm finding little stupid things to do around the home. It's a big glum living day today, but there's someone very special who still wants to play. My gran is one of the kindest, most generous people I know. Every year since I can remember, she's done an Easter egg hunt for all of her grandkids. This year, because everyone is self-isolating, she couldn't. And we were all upset about it. Because of the lockdown, me and my family have been out doing exercise daily. It's tough, but getting out there in the sun is fun. And it's good for my body. Plus, I'm able to do hard exercises like chin-ups and push-ups now as well. So over quarantine, me and my friends have been playing Minecraft. And no, we've not just built a tiny little house. We've built an entire village with a wall, a watchtower, and including a wizard tower where uh, one of our dear friends lives. My mate Laura living in Carol's now, making the masks for free. For social distancing purposes, a part of my estate sang together from their front doorsteps but keeping the communication there, they sang the song A Drop in the Ocean by Ron Pope. I tried to recreate this in Animal Crossing. I hope you enjoy. The quarantine has allowed me to spend more time <laughs> spend more time with our African grey pup parrot Coco and um, we, we got her like five six months ago. So I went to work, made chocolate chip cookies, put them in little Tupperware boxes and left them on their doorsteps and then a couple of days later I heard a knock at my door and I went and opened it and I saw my friend standing at the end of my driveway recording me and there was a little Tupperware box of brownies on my doorstep. So I decided to repeat that day and have some fun with my family today. And I grabbed my bike and headed out for this huge adventure. We had some fun on the way and when we arrived I started trying to dance. I repeat, trying. Honestly, I don't even know what I was thinking. We had some fun, got some fresh air and I think everybody should spend some time in the fresh air with their family. Not only now, but even after the pandemic. I mean, it's really great fun. We've been working really hard on this over the, the entire uh, process of the quarantine in Ireland. Try to keep busy and stay connected as best we can. There's a twinkle in her eye and a rhythm in her tail. If we give her more treats, she will turn into a bear. 
I'm sending postcards to loved ones, those vulnerable people Delivering letters to those who are feeble at this time I'm just trying to do something right So we decided to send her videos of us doing our own hunts at home she was so happy to be a part of everyone's day and family is so important during this time so to be able to stay connected with them is such a blessing. But she's going on walks for an hour a day within two kilometres, okay? As you can see, she only has one eye. She was in an attack when she was a very young bird which has left her quite nervous and she doesn't trust many people. Three weeks later, we're all in the middle of this like little baking battle trying to make the best cookies and brownies and cakes and all for each other to cheer each other up and it's been great fun. So it turns out the lockdown hasn't been as bad as I first thought it would be. Maybe you should try doing some exercise outside too. Keeping us safe from coughing and sneezing It'll all be okay Quarantine time, we have to stay at home. But at least our dogs aren't sad and all alone. This is really good to get bonding with her and getting her confident again. It's been nice to get her trust in us all. <laughs> I'm here if you need me. I swear it'll get better. I'm only one call away because we're hashtag all in this together.